Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with another haul from HEB. If you'll remember, I went the other week and it was so crazy. I said I wanted to go back again when it had calmed down a little bit. And so I did. I spent about $215 and some change. So I am going to jump right in. Gonna start off with the refrigerated and frozen stuff. And then I will show you everything else. So I grabbed two pizzas. I grabbed a thin crust cheese pizza and then a rising crust supreme pizza. I got that the first time I went on the HEB haul and we really liked it a lot. Howard really liked the rising crust and I really liked that thin crust so I had to pick it up again. And by the way, I'll make sure to link that original haul in the description box in case you wanna go back and check it out. I grabbed a couple of sour creams just to have on hand. Wanted to try their Greek yogurt. This is uh, key lime. So I'm gonna be trying this out for the very first time. I also needed some more cream cheese. They had a buy one, get one free special on these little uh, ready fresh go packs. So I got um, all four varieties. So I got a sharp cheddar cheese, and then I got the mild cheddar cheese and they come with um, nuts and something sweet to eat. I got a sharp white cheddar cheese and then a Monterey Jack cheese. And I think these were $2.99 and like I said, they were buy one, get one free. Um, I also got some of their kale salad. I wanted to try this out and it looked pretty good to me. So I got kale salad. I also got some moon, moon drop grapes. Um, Howard wanted to try these. These are the grapes that kind of look like fingers, as you can see right here. And I think they were like 69 cents a pound or something like that. I got some soup dumplings and I've never seen this flavor before, bulgogi. Um, Howard and I really like soup dumplings and I really like this brand. So I was excited about that. I also wanted to try their fully cooked burgers. And so they had turkey burgers, beef burgers, they had bacon cheddar burgers as well. And I think these were like $8.99 or $9.99. And I think you get, you get six burgers in a package. And if you buy, if you bought this, then you got a free ketchup. And I'll show you that um, in just a little bit. Um, another special that they had was this queso dip and it was free as you can see originally it was 1078 um, but it was free this week if you downloaded their digital coupon i got some green onions and just a regular onion as well grab some flautas i really like their flautas normally i get their brisket egg and cheese but i wanted to give their bean and cheese a try as well they also had a special on these um, meal simples is what they're called and the food comes I don't know if you can tell, but the food is raw and then you have to cook it in the oven. So I got the basil pesto shrimp and then also the um, shrimp with white cheddar, macaroni and cheese. I got one of these breakfast bowls for Howard to try. It is smoked brisket and it comes, it looks like with eggs and potato. Oh, there it is. Eggs, potato, brisket, American cheese, cheddar cheese and red onion also giving their ice cream a try. So Howard wanted this flavor. It is blueberry streusel. It says muffin flavored ice cream and cinnamon pastries, blueberry and cinnamon graham swirls. And then I just got pecan praline. It says pecan pralines and caramel swirl. Needed a couple of blocks of cheddar cheese. And then I wanted to give their extra fine um, green beans a try. I used to get their, uh, the green beans from um, Trader Joe's, their extra fine green beans. And I've heard from several people that they don't sell them anymore. So just giving these a try. And then these apples were also on sale. I think they were uh, like $2.89 or something like that. Howard likes apples, so he's never had these. So giving those a try. Just grabbed a three pack of peppers. And then I also wanted to try the skillet meal. It is beef and broccoli. It says it's all natural. So just giving that a try. Needed some garlic bread. And then I grabbed some fully cooked turkey bacon. I've never seen fully cooked turkey bacon. So we're gonna give this a try. And then I also needed some eggs. All right, so let me get everything else for you guys. 
Okay, so I'll start back here. I got some lemon strawberry sparkling. It's not water, it's actually like a sparkling juice. Never tried their brand before, but I typically like um, sparkling juice and so it looked good to me. It's pretty inexpensive. I think these eight cans were like five something, so I thought that was pretty good. I mentioned to you that when I bought the frozen hamburger patties that I would get a, that I got a ketchup for free and here is the ketchup. Um, I got some Mateo salsa. I got mild. Normally I get medium, but Harrison is my two year old, two and a half year old. So you never know if he's going to eat what I'm cooking. So I wanted to get mild just for him. And then I also got some medium um, salsa as well. And then I got a couple of canned goods, or more than a couple, I guess. I got some pinto beans, and then I got charro beans, which are basically pinto beans, but they're seasoned. And then I got some heavy duty aluminum foil. I needed some of that. And then these zipper bags were free with the apples that I got earlier. And let me just show you this stuff. I love Baby Go. I've mentioned that before. They have really good marinades and they're kind of hard to find. So I got their um, Korean barbecue and then I got their spicy Korean barbecue. So if you've been with us for a while and you've seen us make those short ribs, this is typically the marinade that I use. And then they had this spicy French salad dressing on sale too. Howard likes uh, French dressing. And so um, I just got this for him to try because they had a digital coupon. And that's how HEB kind of gets you in trouble because on basically every single aisle, there are these digital coupons that you can scan with the app. And so this was like $1.37 or something. Um, I got seasonings, which I absolutely do not need but i always use um, bouillon and i have never seen nor reduced sodium so i got some of that and then i got some of this never seen it before smoky swine seasoning and it just sounded good to me it's for pork and then i got some vegetable seasoning and then some enchilada seasoning and there's a recipe on the back for enchiladas i got some hot dog buns sun-dried tomatoes for a recipe I got this native deodorant. So I wanted to switch over to um, a natural deodorant. And so I made the switch about a month ago. I was really nervous about it because I wasn't sure it was going to work for me and it does. Um, so if you're on the fence about trying natural deodorant, this really works. And so the special that they had at HEB was if you bought two, which were like hmm, almost $13 each, then you got $5 off. So I grabbed lavender rose and blackberry green tea. Like I said, if you're on the fence, get some because it does work. I am the type of person, this may be too, TMI, but I cannot skip wearing deodorant a day. Like if I forget, it's a problem. This stuff really works for me. So anyway, also wanted to try their German chocolate cake and then their um, cinnamon rolls. They look pretty good. Um, always wanted to try these jalapeno saltines and then their potatoes were on sale, this five pound bag. Um, they were on sale for 50 cents each. I got Howard this um, coffee, medium roast, Hub City blend. So it says sweet cream and rich vanilla flavors. And then I got a couple of bags of um, chips. So they have these cheese balls at the cash register. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not. So I just got a small bag to try for Howard and I. And then one of our subscribers mentioned that these chips are really good and that they taste just like Cheetos or better than Cheetos. So I did get a regular size bag because Howard is a big Cheetos fan. I got another small snack size box of this because I just wanted to give it a try. And it's basically just corn chips and peanuts. And then I got another small bag of these nacho chips just to see if, you know, we like them or not before I um, invested in like a big bag of chips. I got Howard a couple of bags of these colossal peanuts. He loves to um, eat peanuts. And then I got some more of that pecan toffee because it, because it is really, really good. And then I decided to give these praline pecans covered in milk chocolate a try as well. And I had coupons for those a dollar off. And then Impulse Buy again, their Chessman butter cookies were a dollar off too. And they were like $2 and something. So couldn't pass that up.
So this is everything that I picked up on my HEB haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.